The current in game for either season two or the Eternal Realm is farming Uber Durio. You either want to get yourself the unique items locked behind your Uber Durio, you're trying to get 925 item power good items, or you're farming for that elusive Uber Unique, which seems to have about a 2% drop rate. Because of the low drop rate, you're probably going to need to farm a lot of Uber Durio. So in this video, I'm gonna break down the only methods that I am currently aware of to min-max your Uber Durio runs. And with that being said, let's go ahead and get into it. But before we do, let's talk about today's sponsor. All right, listen up. I wanna take a second here to share with you one of the coolest new games hitting the mobile MMO action RPG genre called Dungeon Hunter 6. Dungeon Hunter 6 features an immersive multiplayer experience on mobile devices while giving you engaging, fast action gameplay. It comes with a deep level of hero and squad customization in a variety of game modes, including raids and guild battles. Check out the huge number of units allowed on your screen with stunning skill animation optimized for multicasting so you can enjoy smooth and fast paced gameplay in top 3D graphics wherever you are. You can either engage in intense guild battles and epic boss raids with your friends or enjoy the more casual side with farming and other relaxing game modes. You can also even customize your outfits and mounts for when you meet other players. But one of the most interesting aspects of this game is their unique Gasha boss mechanic where you can actually loot and ride over 100 different bosses then you can summon them in the battlefield to become part of your squad as well so try it out today for free using the link in the description down below and get yourself a free starter pack worth fifty dollars that includes 10 summoning scrolls the ssr lieutenant demonic wolf as well as a free accessory pack the game is free on both android as well as ios and you can use my link to install down below thank you for dungeon hunter 6 for supporting me and for sponsoring this video Okay, so there are two methods. The first one is going to work for anybody. That means PC as well as console is the most common used method currently in the game. So whenever you're at any boss in the game, it doesn't matter, one of these bosses that you have to summon and you have these materials, when you summon this boss, anybody that is within your party gets the boss summoned as well. Meaning they get access to the rewards drop from it, they can help you kill it and you can have up to four people in a party. So what this means is, let's say I wanted to do Varshan, or in this case, Uber Durio, I would go, I would collect the materials I have for the boss, then I would find three other people that also have the materials for the boss. And you might be asking, okay, well, how do we find these other people that have the materials for the boss? I'm gonna show you that in just a second, okay? So you would then get in a group with these people, you would summon the boss itself, you would then kill the boss, and then the next person within the party, the second person would then summon the boss with his materials, you would kill it, the third person would do it, and the fourth person would do it. This effectively allows you to only have the materials to summon the boss one time, but you actually get four kills of the boss. This is currently the most efficient way in order to do this, and is the one that you've noticing literally everywhere. Now you might be asking yourself, okay, well that's great DM, but how do I actually find other people that have this? Well, there are two current ways that I know about finding this. The most common way is going to be community discords. I actually made one just here recently because people in the live streams were asking if there was other people that wanted to do it together. So I made one just to make it a little bit easier. I will have a link and I never link my discord or talk about the discord, mostly because I just don't want it to be filled with spam and garbage, but we have a pretty chill discord. I actually have an Uber Durio LFG here. So if you're trying to find other people that want to do Uber Durio with you, you can join the Discord, which will be in the link down there. And then you just click here on Uber Durio LFG. Say for instance, you know, you type in, I am hardcore, I have mats for one run, anyone interested as a question mark. And then anyone who pops up there, you would grab them, you would add them as a friend, you would get into the game with their battle tag. And that is one such way to do it. There are other ways to do it as well. I have noticed that on Twitch, for instance, when I'm live or I notice Rob does this as well, um, you can have other people that are in the live streams that are connecting with each other, or you can get within a live stream and do it over and over and over again, kind of like people were doing with the Uber Lilith type of carries. You can do that same type of scenario as well. So those are the two ways that I know about finding other people immediately that are looking immediately to do Uber Durio. Now there's no group finder in the game, I think this is something we would all like to have in the game to make this a little bit easier because you do have to go this third party part. But there is one other way that you can get materials a little bit easier that applies to console players particularly, and it's kind of interesting. So I will have a link down below to this post as well. All credit goes to Grumpy Savalin here. 
um, on Reddit. But this is an interesting point on how to get 24 to 36 living steel in a single Helltide if you are a console player. So effectively what he figured out is you only really need to own one set of the game, but you make a secondary account and that secondary account, you just boost through the capstones real quick. You literally, it's super easy because you don't even have to have them alive. The person can die. You just go through the capstone. It will be dragged along with you. You get to world tier four. Now you're at the hell tides. You get your alts killed by the people in the hell tides. So again, they're dead and you don't have to worry about it. And then while you're collecting the cinders, they still actually get the cinders as long as you're far enough away from them. So they're going to stack the cinders and then effectively you're going to resurrect them. And now you have two characters that have twice as many cinders as before and you can open the steel chest each of you. And basically you do the same process of letting them die, collecting up to 300 cinders, resurrecting them, getting the living steel on both characters. And because these materials are tradable, you can just trade it to yourself. And this is effectively the easiest way to do this if you're on console. It's a little bit of investment just because you're gonna have to have basically a second controller, but this is the only other way that I've currently seen in the game at all in order to make the Uber Durio farm a little bit easier. Now we know that the living steel portion of this is typically the bottleneck because whispers are easier to acquire. And this is one way to get around that. However, Living Steel has been mentioned by the devs in the campfire chat that they are aware that it is actually an issue and it is something they're looking into, that they might be adding these in addition, sort of like malignant hearts. You know how you can get malignant hearts from things other than just the whispers? It does sound like Living Steel is going to be following that same pattern as well. And while this does seem like quite a bit of text here, it really just boils down to making a new character you don't even have to play on the new character. It just follows you around dead, basically, and still collects the cinders anyway. So if you're on console, this might actually be something that's like pretty easy for you to accomplish. And obviously, console players can still use the first method, and PC players can still use the first method. Join the Discord down below. Use the Uber Durio Mats LFG. This will turn one Uber Durio run into basically four Uber Durio runs. And as soon as you have a full group of four communities, trade with them, confirm they have the materials and all that. So basically you don't get someone that just uses your materials and then leaves and then go ahead and uh, just farm it over and over again. That's the only way at the moment I've seen. Now, considering it looks like it's about a 2% drop rate for Uber Uniques, making it four times easier to get this will cut down the, the amount of time significantly it would take. Now, the long of short of it is we probably need a group finder in game or some kind of social system in game. Maybe this is a reason to actually have a clan. You see, clans don't really do anything currently at the moment. So this might be a reason to actually start and start operating a clan. Basically, having any social system in the game that will make it easier to communicate with people is going to be the only way that I can see in actually encouraging the Uber Durios to do anything. The problem is they added trading in the game with these materials, thinking like people are going to trade this boss for this boss. It doesn't really work that way because the only boss we actually care about is Uber Durio. You don't really care about the, you know, the Glacial boss or anything like that. No one's going to trade those materials for an Uber Durio run literally anyway, because everyone wants the Uber unique. So we're all pigeonholed and bottlenecked basically on living steel is what it boils down to. But they do say the living steel should be somewhat relieved going into the future. But for now, these are the only methods currently available. And you can find all the links in the pinned comment as well as the description for either that Reddit post, which again, shout out to the man Grumpy for the Reddit post, or the link to my Discord if you want to try using that. You can also come by the live streams when we do Uber Durio runs. You're always welcome to try to find people there as well. That's about it. Love you all. Good luck to you. And hope you get your Uber uniques.